Hi, this is Tom Blodgett from Janet Industries, and today we're going to sharpen a coveted DWK single bevel reed knife. So the DWK is a more rare reed knife. It's a Korean knife. In, in all my reed knife sharpening over the years, I've only probably come across about 10 of these. So um, I just want to go over these, these because they're, they're a little tricky. They're, they're reminiscent of Gregson's. They are using a high-speed steel, and everything's machined. But because they're using the high-speed steel, sharpening these is very difficult. Conventional stones really don't do much to it uh, because the steel is much harder. Getting this sharp again is an effort. And diamonds is pretty much what you need. Uh, diamond films, you can use diamond plates, diamond films, and we now have diamond resin stones that we're going to use. Um, just wanted to do a quick run over. So it's a single bevel with a hollow ground back, and the bevel side is also it's got a nice hollow curve to it. Again, machined, it's very, and that makes it easier to get sharp uh, from the beginning. But when we're trying to sharpen it, it's a whole other game because manual sharpening is harder. All right, so what we're going to use today on this knife on the DWK is. Uh, the Genda Resin Diamond, we've got the 15 micron, the 9, 6, and 3. It's a, a resin bond stone that's diamond impregnated, so basically a diamond stone. So we're not going to use all the grits today, we're just going to use the 15 and the 9. Uh, for this knife we don't need the 6 and the 3 for, for what we're doing, but it's available. So, Alright, we're going to finish with the Genda Folding Steel, and we're going to check our edge with the edge tester from Genda as well. So, Alright, so let us begin. Alright, we're starting off with the 15 micron. Give it a little bit of water. You can use them dry, but they work better with some water. Just water. A couple spritzes of water. So what we're going to do with the DWK is the back side is hollow ground and you can see there's two lines on either side uh, because it's hollow in the middle, so you have that dark area. So what we're going to do is just sharpen flat. So it's a small like a slip stone. So we're just going to literally back and forth flat. And you can see the black on the stone already starting to, which means it's cutting the metal because diamonds cut everybody. I'm not putting too much pressure. I'm making sure I'm flat. I don't want to tip up or roll down that way. Just staying nice and flat. If you want to do single strokes, you can. But just make sure you're going in the same direction, forward and backward, so my scratch pattern is going to be that same kind of slant. You see all that black starting to accumulate here. So we check. All right. All right I'm getting a small burr. Again, these knives are precision made, so it shouldn't take too much to get there. The problem is just abrading it, not getting it sharp, unless it's really messed up. So here now on the bevel side, we're just going to match that bevel. So. Roll the knife up till you hit that bevel point, and same thing, sweeping forward. Watch your hands. Again, it should be very quick and easy because of the precision that's into this knife. And I can feel the cutting. See the line here too. So I'm just gonna do a few more strokes to make sure I've absolutely gotten it because again, uh, I haven't sharpened this knife before. So now I'm just gonna make sure it's good at that first stage. So again, 15 micron is about 1,000 grit. So this is more than acceptable for a finishing grit. But because the steel is good and hard, you want to make sure you're getting everything. So I want to check the consistency of the bevel here. I can see a, a thin line along the top of the bevel and a thin line at the at the edge. So I know I'm hitting it. Again, the precision is there. And I know that I've gotten it from here because of the hollow grind. So I just want to check with my edge tester. And I've got a 45 degree and just nice and easy. It should be consistent. You don't have to use your thumb for everything. 
So I'm feeling a very even uh, grip to it. Feel sharp. I'm just no pressure. I'm just running it along at a 45 degree. So it doesn't hit any bumps. That's those are chips in there. So it's consistent across the board. So we'll move on to the nine micron, which is about 2,000 grit. And we're going to finish it on that. So the same process, we're just going to refine it. Everything's already in good shape. You see the black starting to form already. So again, the diamonds are cutting the steel. the burr on the front face of the blade. Alright, so I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up or not, but we've got again that very thin line here at the corner and the very thin line at the edge and yeah this is sharp. It's got a bite. So in this case we're going to leave it at that, check our edge using the edge tester. That's nice and smooth. Again no real bumps. If there are bumps and they're consistent along the way, like a whole way, then you're still consistent. Depends on the grit. At 9 micron or 2000 grit, you're pretty good here. Okay, so that's nice and smooth. Then we're going to finish it now using the steel. All right, so we're going to finish with the Genda steel. And what this does is personalizes the burr. By the last stroke that we took pushes away, the burr rolls up onto the front face. So when you're scraping, then the burr is catching but we don't really want the burr to catch we want it to be straight not curved so it curls up so we want to straighten whatever burr is there which is hopefully minimized uh, out so that it's it's like a golf golf club you want to make sure it hits as you twist the blade so some people scrape straight some people actually put more twist some people really get a running start so what we're going to do is set it up for the default so in this case, we're going to match, usually it's 12 o'clock here for the spine of the knife at 12 o'clock, but in this case, because we have the bevel, we're going to stick to the bevel. Just run it flat on the steel arm, okay, don't worry about anything, and we're going to do 12 o'clock on the left hand side, okay. Then, what would be 12 o'clock at the bevel, we're going to turn it slightly to my right, or like a 1 o'clock position for the user here, and then run that down. Okay, and that's it. One, two, three. Left, right, left, right. And what that does is it sets the burr forward. So when you go to scrape something, it just digs right in. It's already digging. You know, there's no hesitation from the moment you put it down to when it grabs. All right, so that's one way to sharpen uh, a knife of high-speed steel, the DWK. To sharpen any knife, of course, with our resin diamond stones and other stones. Uh, but this one particular knife is definitely a challenge I wanted you guys to see. So, thank you for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, click here. And then we'll put some more reed knife sharpening videos here. And check out our other videos over there. Alright, thank you. See you soon.